Are you ready to transform your summer into an epic splash-tastic adventure? Say goodbye to wasteful, single-use water balloons and hello to the ultimate in reusable, eco-friendly fun with reusable water balloons. Check out the link in the video description to get yours on Amazon today. The man charged with Tupac's murder was a confidential police informant who even tried to set up an undercover drug deal in a bid to implicate hip-hop mogul Diddy in the rapper's murder, damning court filings allege. Accused murderer Keith D. worked undercover with LAPD detectives from a task force initially set up to investigate the murder of Biggie Smalls after volunteering information about his role in Pac's fatal shooting, according to a bombshell 179-page court filed by Las Vegas prosecutors. According to the court papers, obtained by our channel, Keith became an informant after he was caught trafficking a large amount of drugs by the task force. Keith denied having any involvement in Biggie's murder but gave police a recorded account, believing he was immune from prosecution, of how he and his fellow gang members killed Tupac in a drive-by shooting in Las Vegas in 1996. He also alleged in the interview that Diddy, real name Sean Combs, had previously offered him a million dollars for Tupac's murder, which Diddy, then known as Puffy, later paid to a gangster called Eric Zip Martin, audio from which has been previously published by our channel and can be heard below. Now in a new twist, prosecutors are claiming that three months after the recorded confession, on March 9, 2009, Keith became an active confidential informant for the task force. In a section titled, Additional Evidence Never Considered Before by the Court, the document goes on to allege that Keith, accompanied by officers from the task force, flew to New York on June 17, 2009, in a bid to corroborate the conspiracy to commit Tupac's murder. It explains that detectives believed they had jurisdiction to investigate a Nevada homicide because defendant, Keith, asserted that the conspiracy to commit the murder began in California between defendant, Eric, Zip, Martin, and Sean Combs. Keith acting in an undercover capacity ran into Zip on the street as he approached his workplace, according to prosecutors. Mr. Martin, Zip, greeted defendant excitedly and they had a social conversation, the court papers say. Thereafter, Mr. Martin, his nephew and defendant got into the nephew's blue Cadillac DTS and drove over to see Mr. Martin's sister. After returning, defendant tried to enlist Mr. Martin in an effort to traffic narcotics. Mr. Martin indicated he was out of the business but directed him to conduct his drug activities with the nephew. Thereafter, defendant and Mr. Martin socialized in Mr. Martin's restaurant for several hours. Diddy, who has always denied any involvement in Tupac's death, appears to be further implicated in the court papers when prosecutors summarize one of Keefe's other interviews and state, Sean Combs reaches out to defendant wondering if Southside Crips were responsible for Shocker's death by asking, is that us? Defendant, beaming with pride, answers, yes. Keefe, real name Dwayne Davis, was hoping to be freed after a bail hearing next week ahead of his trial for Pac's murder slated for November. A judge denied his release in June even after he was able to secure the $750,000 bond to be freed while he awaits trial, citing concerns over the source of the fund's music manager Cash Whack 100 Jones. Prosecutors are opposing Keefe's release on bail as they released a slew of evidence against the former drug kingpin. Keefe's lawyer Carl Arnold has previously claimed his client was not even in Las Vegas on the night Tupac was shot, September 7, 1996. However, the latest filing contains a number of statements Keith has made both to police and in interviews and books, in which he claims he was. By our channel's senior reporter Emma Perry, who has been reporting on the Tupac murder for the past 10 years. Tupac fans have been waiting for justice for the iconic rapper for almost 28 years. Finally in September 2023 there appeared to be progress with the arrest of Dwayne Keith D. Davis, a former Southside Crip gangster from Compton, L.A., who had been telling the world for years that he and his fellow gang soldiers were responsible for the hit. I've been reporting on the case for several years and it always appeared pretty cut and dry, Keith had spent the past decade gaining notoriety by boasting about his alleged involvement in the shooting, now he was finally getting what he deserves. But despite Keith running his mouth for years, I now.